you, we all do work. But sometimes our employer says, you're not doing work to my expectations. I, you could do better. We all study, but sometimes our teachers tell us, I, I expect better from you. You could do better than this. He hands you your term paper back. You're an A student. You got a B on your term paper. A real teacher hands it over to you and says, I expect an A. I don't want to give you a B. Go and do it again, because I know you can do better. There are people who expect more from you because they, they expect that you will rise to the occasion. You understand? So Allah in this ayah says you have to struggle and it ha your struggle has to be worthy of the fact that you're struggling for Allah. Like you better show me that you are working for me. And what kind of motivation and enthusiasm and energy can you put into your work realizing that you're struggling for me? Now as soon as Allah does that, I am completely left baffled because no Muslim that I know, no Muslim that I know or myself, ever pray to Allah like He deserves it. We don't pray to Allah like He deserves it. We don't thank Allah like He deserves it. We don't mention Allah like He deserves it. We don't remember Allah like He deserves it. We don't do anything for Allah. We don't obey Allah like He deserves it. And yet we are here today responding to Allah's ayah where He's saying, struggle for me as I deserve it, as is worthy of that struggle. So from the very beginning, I, I find myself looking at this ayah and saying, this is impossible. This is impossible. And it's no surprise that a couple of ayat before the same exact literary structure is used when Allah says, مَا قَدَرُ اللَّهَ حَقَّ قَدْرِهِ A commentary on all of humanity and Allah says they were not able to even appreciate Allah, evaluate Allah, to consider who Allah really is as He deserved to be appreciated, as He deserved to be valued. We couldn't even appreciate Allah like He deserved to be. How are the Muslims supposed to struggle for Him? as he deserves to be. So he has gathered all of us, every one of us that says La ilaha illallah, every one of us that says Muhammadur Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Every one of us thinks we hear the first part of this ayah, I am not qualified to work for Allah like he deserves. And he says, actually, there is something in you that you might not even see yourself, but he sees in you, and based on that, he gave you the honor of saying La ilaha illallah. He gave you the honor of saying Muhammadur Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is not from you, He chose you. And you wonder, some people think, I, I'm, maybe I'm just Muslim because my parents are Muslim. Or I just happen to be Muslim because I come from a Muslim country or whatever. Who Tabakum suggests that every single person blessed with La ilaha illallah and there is a majority of humanity that isn't. They're not blessed with this word. They're not blessed with this truth. Allah sees something in the people of La ilaha illallah and that is why they were chosen. Not one Muslim sitting here can say, Allah, I, I'm worth nothing or I have no value. Because Allah Himself said about every member of this ummah who wajtabakum. Now, He selected me and He sees talent in me and the reality is I don't even see it in myself. I know you see it in me, I, you know way more than I do. But I don't think I'm all that good. I don't think I'm worth much. And this job description, does it sound easy or hard? Did it sound easy or hard? You tell me. It's hard, extremely hard, even impossible even. So he relaxes you and me. First he says, I picked you and I know you better than you know yourself. And then he says, وَمَا جَعَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الدِّينِ مِنْ حَرَجْ So he calms my nerves and he says, no, he didn't put any constriction or discomfort or difficulty in the religion for you at all. Now we know by definition it's hard, but now we're also learning that it could be the most impossible thing. But if Allah intervenes, it will become easy. So Allah will make this easy for us. وَمَا جَعَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الدِّينِ مِنْ حَرَجْ 